But first, this new time, Providence and state officials reacting to a scathing report into the Providence school system. The report issued by Johns Hopkins University identified, quote, deep systemic dysfunctions across the district. Kate Walsh working the story joins us now live with the latest local coverage. Patrick, we're live right outside the state room here at the state house, and that's where this news conference is going on right now. Just moments ago, we heard from Governor Gina Raimondo, who said she's read this report several times and acknowledges the state needs to get more involved in fixing the problem in the years ahead, not the days ahead, while saying that this is a problem that will take that long to really fix. She said they all knew there was a problem, but they didn't know how big of a problem it was until this report was released. Also speaking right now, Providence Mayor Jorge Alor and Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green. The question today for taxpayers, who should be held accountable and what's next in trying to make the schools more successful and safe? In just the summary of this report alone, we see the latest standardized test scores show 90% of students were not sufficient in math, 86% not sufficient in English language arts. The report summarized that students were not learning on or even near grade level, parents aren't feeling looped in, the school buildings are dangerous for people to be in them, and teachers don't feel supported. The system is broken and the province public schools are in crisis. I've read the report several times. For those of you who've read the report, I'm sure you'll agree with me. It's shocking, it's upsetting, it's saddening. Just as we stepped out moments ago, Mayor Alorza said they've invested significantly since he became mayor on infrastructure, but acknowledges that there needs to be much more change. He said, quote, they're at best nipping at the margins and they need to get to the core of the issue. So we're going to go back into this news conference. And by the way, we are live streaming this right now on WPRI.com as well as on our Facebook page if you'd like to join in and see what is being said. Now, as far as looping in the parents, as they said, that's important in the future. The first meeting for parents and members of the community is at 6 o'clock tonight. So we'll have much more coming ahead on Eyewitness News, both on air and on our website at WPRI.com. Live in Providence at the State House, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.